Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Thank you everyone for dropping in. I really do appreciate it. Okay, this week's reading is about transformations in love. Somebody coming towards you, wanting to transform things. Maybe an ex coming back transformed, wanting to change things. Could be you needing some changes and transformations, but it could be overall transformations. Okay, let's see. It could go anywhere. So let's see what's happening with Pisces. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Pisces viewers? Clear messages and guidance regarding the transformations in love and what does Pisces need to know about transformations in love? All right. Oh, somebody's fighting their shadow side a little bit. Yes. It's hiding their true nature and their true feelings. Okay. That needs to change. It could be you. It could be the person who's coming in, keeping their feelings hidden, secrets. Someone's not sharing. Yeah, there's ten of cups. Someone needs to put those cups out on the table if they want to be emotionally fulfilled. Hmm. Someone's hiding their true feelings, I feel, and I do feel like this person's coming in to clear things up. See, there's that moon. They've hid their feelings, their true nature, okay? Yeah, you're not, and, and this person actually does see a future. They do, uh, if they're with you now, they feel happy when they're with you. They've just not told you. There is a need to clear this up, okay? This person probably has a pro hard time speaking the truth, a little bit of fear of speaking the truth, okay? Pisces, it could be you, it could be your person. Yeah, we have someone who has a bit of a shadow side here. We have a Virgo energy and we have a tower. Ooh, that's different. I think somebody is coming back towards you. They've been soul searching and contemplating their feelings, okay? They're looking for answers within themselves and they may be watching you on social media and they may actually all of a sudden get an epiphany that they need to change, okay? They need to speak the truth, but they're afraid with the moon. There's a little bit of fear. They hide their true nature or how they feel about you and how they feel about you is actually the Ten of Cups. So this is somebody who... Very sexy and charismatic and charming on the outside, but the feelings, right? Those emotions aren't always there. Or they're just hiding their true nature. This person's probably never really been clear with you, but I'm going to tell you, they actually are very charismatic, very charming, very sexy, very hardworking, very passionate person. You've likely not seen that part of this person. Okay? They're soul-searching. Pisces, they're watching, all right? They're going deep within themselves. This is somebody who keeps those feelings deep inside. They know they need to change that because their real true nature is actually the King of Wands. Okay. They could have some Scorpio in their chart. Ooh. Yeah. Pisces. Yeah. Somebody has everything they need. Somebody is maybe an entrepreneur, business owner. They don't have to have... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio in their chart. This is an energy of someone who's actually hiding the fact that they're uh, very charismatic, very charming, very passionate, very fun-loving. Okay, they have all the tools they need. They work hard. Like I said, they could be a business owner. Okay, this is someone who's been planning for the future, but this is someone who's very practical, very realistic, very grounded. Okay, very... Ooh, King and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this person's manifesting something they're trying to manifesting a way to fix this situation with you because i think they feel really emotionally filled when they're with you i feel like they hide how they feel about you they're in their true nature which is yeah so you may have a virgo taurus capricorn they could be an aries leo sagittarius yeah i'm seeing i said aries leo sagittarius and that came out so you both are very passionate about each other. You both find each other very attractive. Okay. Wow. I've had this in three readings where the King and Queen of Wands. It's usually these two that I see for a while that all of a sudden these two come out. I, I feel like this person, you find each other very attractive. They just keep it all to themselves. 
Wow. And I feel like both of you, this person's manifesting something that they're planning for to come in and fix this situation with you. You may have two people, but I feel like this is what connects you. Okay, you have some things that are in common here, and it's being practical, concentrating on your finances. You're both very hardworking. I feel this person wants to manifest this new beginning. They see you as a power couple with them. They see you. They see the two of you working together, having a very similar energy. They're having some kind of an epiphany. And I feel like this person never told you how you felt, so you may have ended this, okay? Pisces, you may have ended this because they never showed you their true nature. There were secrets and things that were hidden, which oh, you, you really enjoyed time with this person, though. Like, I feel like there's emotional fulfillment, contentment. This person was content. They were comfortable with you, okay? Very nice. Tell me about nature. Why is nature here? What is this energy of nature? Nature. What is this person's true nature? Ooh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See, look at that, Pisces. <laughs> this is you, hiding your true feelings. I have to say, I feel like it's you. It could flip. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, another Pisces, or a Scorpio. I think you hide your feelings and emotions for this person, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person may be soul searching, searching for answers. Okay, it could be them as well. They could be a Virgo. Uh, you could have that in your chart. They could be a Taurus or a Capricorn as well. I, I think you have hid your feelings, your true nature from this person. You've kept it secret to yourself. And I feel like you've been soul searching. You've been going deep. You have the answers. You know exactly what you need to do to manifest this. Wow. Yeah. What is this fear of sharing the feelings? What is this fear of speaking the truth? You haven't been clear with this person. Um, it could be them as well. Maybe you're hiding your feelings from them because they haven't shared them with you. That kind of energy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Yeah, there's some kind of communication. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. Um, I, or you want to communicate with them. Sorry, but I feel like this is you. And I feel like you want to offer this person this cup. You've never told this person how you feel. Okay, I can see it. There you are, hiding your feelings, keeping it to yourself. But you're going to have to come in. You're trusting your intuition. Or maybe this is you trusting your intuition that they're hiding their true self. They're hiding their emotions. And I don't know. Take it as it resonates. I'm going to come back on that when I see what comes up around it. Because it could go in so many ways. Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Page of Swords. Yeah. So somebody never spoke the truth. Somebody actually never spoke the truth that they were financially stable, that they wanted something stable. Okay, someone didn't feel safe and secure and grounded enough or maybe financially stable enough at the time to share their true self, their true nature. They were keeping it hidden. But this person's actually the Queen of Pentacles. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. I, I think, Pisces, that you, you're trusting your intuition here, that you know you need to offer up some a love, some emotions. You need to offer that cup. This person needs to feel safe and secure. They need to know, right? And I, I do feel like if you really soul search and you think about it, you should be quite comfortable to share your feelings, but you're not for some reason. Why are you hiding your true nature? Is it finances? Somebody's not telling the truth about... They're hiding their feelings, keeping secrets about their financial stability. I feel like you both work a lot. You think that this person's not telling the truth about their finances, maybe, or they think that about you. There's something that needs to come out here. Secrets with the moon. Mm -hmm. The page of swords and the moon. <laughs> That's a scary... Yep, yeah, you're both the same. You both work hard. 
I have seen this in a few readings, so I know you cross watchers are going to have a ball this week. So I feel like you're both the same. You both work hard, self-employed entrepreneurs, okay? You're very passionate about what you do. You're very attracted to each other. You know that, okay? You know it. So, yeah, it's it's there. But the, hmm, tell me about the, the Holly King, which is basically a hermit energy. This is both of you, keeping things to yourself. You're both hermits. You both probably work at home a lot. Home-based businesses, maybe, for some of you. Not all of you, of course. But you have a lot in common. You do see eye to eye. You both get what hard work can produce. You're both manifestors, okay? You both manifest your future, your money, your planning, your future. Yeah, so I feel like there's something here that needs to come to an end. And that's this hermit mode. It's painful. This soul searching is over, okay? Someone's having some kind of an epiphany. Somebody was hiding their sec hiding things, keeping secrets, and the tower came down. There was some kind of an ending, but this ending is leading to that transformation. Tell me about the wild hunt. Yep, someone's been sitting on the fence here trying to make a decision whether to put an end to this or to move forward. How to approach somebody. Someone's trying to figure out how to approach someone because they know they need to. Yeah, looks like the tower came down at some point here. Tell me about the high priest. Why is the high priest? You both have everything you need. You both have everything you need. You come together, you're the power couple. You both, look at that, you're both the same. This is like so beautiful. Yet, It's being hidden, The true, your true natures. Both of you are probably hiding your true natures, your true feelings for each other. Keeping it within, keeping secrets. You, have, you both have the everything you need. You both have the answers you need within yourself. This is to do with planning a future, seeing a future together. There, there's love, there's emotion, okay? I feel like it's you hiding your true nature, your true feelings. I, I think you're... You've got a very similar energy to this person who could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you got things in your charts that are similar or you just have that energy when you're around each other because you get each other. You do see eye to eye when it comes to work and, uh, and passion. You connect very well physically, mentally, and emotionally. But somebody, it's like there's this blocked energy where someone keeps those feelings in. They're not showing their true nature. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, somebody wants to manifest this. They want to, someone's been hiding their feelings. Someone's very controlling. To manifest this, someone needs to move forward towards success. Yeah, I feel like you both have everything you need. I feel like there's, you both have success. You're both single. You both have what you need to manifest each other, to manifest a beautiful connection. Oh my gosh, Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah. So I feel some of you... Some of you look back at all this hard work and it's like... A job well done okay that's what I'm feeling here when I see the Queen of Pentacles looking back at all the hard work okay planning for the future ready to move towards success I feel like you're both successful and I feel whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is is somebody who's definitely putting all the hardest work behind them and moving forward towards success and I feel like someone needs to surrender and somebody needs or somebody's going to give up somebody wants commitment to marriage all right there's a reconciliation energy here some of you have been married in the past too okay so there's this little bit of a issue of staying single keeping the motions hidden using all the power they have to take control to stay single but manifesting new beginnings all the time somebody keeps manifesting a new beginning but then wanting to stay single what is that all about Feel like you both are trying to keep everything you worked for to yourselves everything you planned for it's been a lot of work but i feel like there's a foundation a history between the two of you maybe you were married together once 
maybe if the two of you came together and reconciled, there would be this very solid foundation. I feel like one of you wants to be married, the other one maybe not, or you both just want to stay single. <laughs> but you keep manifesting each other. Yeah, tell me about this King of Pentacles. Man, you guys, what are you up to, Pisces? I feel there's more earth and fire here than there is water. I do see the King of Cups, and that's you. There's your Pisces energy right there, hiding your true nature. About how you feel about this Queen of Pentacles, this person who has everything. They take care of their home. They take care of their finances. This is someone from your past. Maybe you're working through a process. You've been concentrating on your money and you want to approach. Maybe you hid the fact that you were already financially stable. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is this here? Somebody's not surrendering until they get commitment. I'll tell you that right now. They want Somebody wants to create memories with someone. This is somebody who, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is a very traditional kind of person. This is somebody who likes to work, sometimes from home. They take care of the home. This is somebody very grounded. They like to putter around and work on things. They sew, they cook, they grow the herb garden, they make money. They're not afraid to do anything, and they work for it. They work through this in a very meticulous way, paying attention to the details in their own pace. The King of Pentacles has that same energy, but this is an energy of a person who has already reached that King of Pentacles status. All right, this is somebody who's wealthy, they're holding on to their money, they've planned into the future. I feel like somebody has plans. I feel like it's you. I feel like you're planning on coming towards this person. I think you see this person as a partner, as a spouse, as marriage material. I feel like there's someone from the past, but I feel like this person's not so sure now. It's like if you reconcile with this person, I feel they have sweet memories definitely of you. I feel as though... I feel like you both move towards success. I feel like, and you're single, definitely single, and you're still manifesting more money and still planning more for the future. Wow. Surprised the devil card's not here. <laughs> for both of you. Because <laughs> you're both, it's like work, work, work. <laughs> oh, you find each other attractive, though. King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. Yeah, manifesting. So, yeah, I, I feel like you're manifesting. I feel like this person's a manifester. I feel like you want this new beginning. I feel like you're in each other's energy. I think you mirror each other in so many ways. You're so much alike. Wow. I've seen a lot of that energy lately. You know, this lockdown, a lot of people have been in hermit mode. It's right here in the heart. There's been a lot of soul searching. A lot of people are checking people out on social media they're, or they're just, you know, uh, looking for answers to do with planning a future towards moving forward, right? A lot of people are having epiphanies. I feel like the towers come down here. I feel like at some point the tower came down and somebody's been sitting on the fence trying to figure out how to approach this situation. But to me, it, with this transformation, it's like there was an ending and then somebody's going, ah, oh, I need to approach this in a different way. If I want this to move forward, right? If I want success, this is using all the power you have, right? Power to move towards success. You're both very powerful because uh, you're both very focused and you're both very single and you're both holding on to all your money and everything you worked for. But if you were to come together... Somebody has to surrender, and this is the thing, is putting all this behind to be able to move forward towards a commitment, all right? This is being committed, being married, creating memories together when I see it like this. This is the Queen of Pentacles, what she plans for. Somebody wants family, someone wants children, and they won't surrender until they get that. And it could be you, it could be... Um, your person okay so take it however it resonates for you because we could have a cancer pisces scorpio like this could be uh, a scorpio um a cat and or a cancer another pisces for that matter okay someone's not showing their true feelings their true nature who they really are because who they really are is very charismatic and i feel like it's both of you you haven't it's like you haven't played that's what comes to my mind like all you do is work 
and make money and there's no play even though the queen king and queen of wands can be that way but i feel like it's more like all work and no play for the two of you okay uh it's time for change someone's searching for answers here how to put an end to this something ended very painfully somebody is lonely they've been in hermit mode soul searching for quite some time so i think you're both lonely i think you both miss each other I think you're manifesting each other. I think you're still mirroring each other. We got the Eight of Wands. Yep, it's time to put an end to all work and no play because that's all you do. That's what I'm seeing here. Focused on your careers. So focused on your careers. It's all about money. All right. Somebody's definitely has a fear of exposing how much money they have. Someone's afraid. And it's like both of you have never told each other how financially stable you are. So it's like you both don't trust the other person's <laughs> stable, but you are. Where is this going? Actually, I'm just going to pull these out. Oh, Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, someone hasn't told anyone. There's been no emotions shared here. Someone's kept their feelings to themselves, kept them secret. But there's love. I'm seeing this so much. Somebody, you love this person. You love this person. And you know their, I think you do know their true nature. I think they don't know yours. I don't think you've showed this person how much the same you are you've kept it to yourself so i think you've been hiding your feelings i think pisces but if it's not you it's definitely they're hiding their feelings uh, from you okay so someone who's ready for love they have it it's right there they're just not expressing it it's all work no play tell me more yep this is love is never it's you know this is what happens when people don't share their feelings, right? It's, it's got to change. That's what will change this, is sharing those emotions. Yeah, there's true love here. Look at that. Someone's not shared them yet. New love. There's a new beginning. Mm-hmm. You're mirroring each other. You're manifesting right there. King and Queen of Pentacles energy, Pisces. You're both thinking of each other holding on to each other working through this process all right concentrating on all work and no play sitting at home feeling lonely missing each other yeah calling in the soulmates there you go you're calling in each other you're manifesting each other <laughs> this is somebody this could be a new person right where you've just got to this point now or somebody's not showing their true feelings they're keeping it very secret okay somebody might be feeling very private i feel like this queen of pentacles person it could be you too being practical realistic working through the process and eventually going to do it could be you as well but i feel like it's right the, it's the other person maybe towards you i feel like you both have some earth in your chart or you're just all work no play Neither one of you, yeah. So you're in a bit of a separation now. Yeah. Time apart. You're in a bit of a separation because of this. Somebody needs to make the effort to move this forward, to transform it. And I feel like somebody will. Somebody's going to make the effort to express their feelings and emotions. It's, oh, every reading this week. Come out of hermit mode, people. Yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It's time to have some talk. Okay, time to express yourselves. You're, you'd be so you two whoever you are would be so comfortable together you would be married i feel like there's children for some of you on the horizon somebody's not surrendering until they get married they're not giving it up until there's marriage and commitment okay no matter what happens even if there's a reconciliation there it's those sweet feelings need to be there somebody needs to share those feelings those emotions those are the things that the Queen of Pentacles wants. Okay, yeah, she wants children. Somebody wants children here. Definitely. It's also, a, if there's no children, it's a reconciliation. The romantic feelings, yep. What else can I say with you people? <laughs> it's, 
It's time to soul search. Yeah, very soon. So I do feel you're going to reconnect very soon. Both of you need to decide whether you want to stay single or manifest this. And that's where you're at. You're in each other's energy. You're mirroring each other. But you need to decide if you want to move forward or you want to stay um, in control, hiding your feelings and emotions, staying in control, staying single, and keeping everything that you've worked for for yourselves. That's how you both feel. So... Yeah, there's some details to work out here between the two of you. One more. Whoops. Yeah, finances and career. You guys need to talk about that. That's all you do, right? Maybe when you were together, that's all you talked about. Okay. Yeah, you're both into it. Finances and career. And that's the financial issues that are affecting your love life right now. Because you don't play... And you have, you actually are hiding your true natures, which is very passionate, very playful. You're putting all that passion into your careers. And it's a good thing in, in a way, but why pass up love? Because I feel like you're both powerful enough to handle both, especially if you come together uh, and live together and married and help each other out. I, I feel it it's beautiful. It couldn't get any better if you can do that soul searching, right? Uh, you're probably both in hermit mode still depending on where you live. So I feel like it's a matter of waiting for the tower to come down, all right, to come out of hermit mode, sitting on the path waiting, trying to figure out how to approach this, being at a crossroads, okay, how to approach this situation, to put an end to this painful hermit mode. It's almost over, you guys. It's coming to an end, all right? Please take care of yourselves. I so wish you the best, all right, and we'll see you next week.